All right, 114 or 1114 Keating Court. Okay. Four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 2,647 square feet. Um, built in 1979. Sitting on 49 acres, so almost a half an acre. You got a big corner lot. Uh, this is the corner of Keating and Country Club. All right, so you do have a big corner lot, big yard. It's not fenced in yard, but it's a big yard. You got a big um, deck kind of thing out back. Um, Keating Court is actually just a cul-de-sac, so there's only five houses on this street. Uh, but love the neighborhood. All right, big house. Um, you know, 2,647 square feet. That's a pretty big house. Um, I've walked through it. I'm trying to find out if there is some major things wrong with the house since they keep saying, um, you know, being sold as is. All right, so you walk in the front door. Um, I like the tile. Tile throughout the whole uh, uh, foyer. That is a um, formal dining room. Okay. Um, I think you got like an intercom system that goes throughout the house. All right. I'm sure that's original to 1979. So is that. <laughs> Um, you do have an ADT alarm system on, okay. Got the kitchen, not granite countertops, but the countertops look like they're in good shape, all right. The appliances look like they're in pretty good shape. Cabinets look great. Um, no popcorn ceilings, which is good. Um, I don't see any water stains on the ceilings, um, but there is an upstairs, so we'll go check that out too. Um, dishwasher, stove oven. Looks good. Um, the only thing this doesn't have is a microwave, which you know you can have a microwave installed. All right, there's your intercom system again. Um, big bench here, no more counter space, cabinet space, stuff like that here. Um, this room right here, remember now, this door right here goes back to your uh, formal dining room and then back to the front door, okay? Um, but back here um, on the back side of your kitchen is you got a door that goes outside. Then you have your laundry room. It's got some cabinets in here. And then you have a half bathroom back here. Okay. Still, you know, not seeing a whole lot of something, anything wrong with the house. I mean, it needs, needs cleaned. You know what I'm saying? You can tell that it's been vacant for a while. All right, and you got a swing door, all right, that goes into the living room, all right. Still got the tile floor, okay. Gas log fireplace, love the stone, okay. And then you have this room up here. Um, well, I'm 6'3", and this comes to my chest right here. Um, so, you know, you got a good five feet off the ground as you got a room up there and then door goes out to your back deck. Okay. Um, but you know, there's your front door walking back through here. So you do have a couple closets, one right here. Um, that looks like a doorway to maybe underneath there that you might have some storage and stuff. Cause there's a doorway here and it looks like there's another doorway right there or an access anyway. Okay. You do have another couple of closets here um, when you walk in the front door. Um, one's back here, which I think is going to be uh, your air handler, which that might be the reason why I'm saying as is. But, um, I mean, it feels like the, the air is running. Um, and then to the right side of the door is your, um, just a coat closet. Now this right here goes to the light fixture outside right there but why I don't I've never seen them have that on the back side of them so there's that okay so before we go upstairs there is a room over here to the right that is a very very big room um, I mean this is like a, a 25 by 20 foot room um, big room all right popcorn ceilings in here you do have a support uh, beam Okay, you got registers in the ceiling. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so 
I like the this. You know, that's a, like a rounded wall right there. Um, but it looks like you might have a little bit of damage um, right here, as far as maybe some water damage. Maybe that window was leaking at one time. Okay, and then it looks like you might have a little bit of damage over here. All right. Yeah, Fred figures. It's like third phone call I've gotten since I'm trying to make this video. Then there's the garage. Big, big garage. Um, I think the floor probably needs a good uh, pressure washing. It needs cleaned. But I love all the extra shelving that you get. All right. Window in here. Big two-car garage door. All right. But very, very big garage I like, the I like the shelving that's a lot of storage right there you have an attic access here too above the garage okay going back through the big room and we'll go upstairs real quick okay now there's a crack right here um, not that it's not that it's loose or or anything but it's cracked it looks like somebody hit it with something. And there's a crack right there. Okay. So far, only real damage I can see. This room right here, um, carpet doesn't look bad, but it's just cheap carpet. Um, you know, it's up to you whether you guys want to replace that or not. Um, but it's another big room that you can, you know, have a family room or something up there, up here. Okay. It's got TV um, jacks and stuff here. All right. I like how that's set up. All the bedrooms are up there, and then this overlooks the um, fireplace and, and sliding glass door. There's a door to your uh, laundry room. Goes into the kitchen. All right. And then you have this big back deck out here, which um, I think these people loved entertaining because um, that's probably one of the biggest decks I've ever seen. Um, big gazebo out there. It'd be cool to put a hot tub out there. Um, but you need a fence in that yard. <laughs> um, okay. All right. So we will uh, take a look upstairs real quick. Okay. Uh, like I said, carpet. The steps, the wood on the steps looks good. Okay. Um, the carpet on the steps, not so much. So, like I said, that's not a big, you know, um, big deal. Um, carpet up here needs to be replaced. It's, it's pretty worn. Kind of dirty. Um, first door here is you got a broken tile coming into the bathroom, guest bathroom. All right, big sink, big mirror, um, and then nice shower. And you got this like um, paneling board um, wall stuff here. It's like um, it's like plastic or vinyl or something. Um, but nice size bathroom. This right here is a. Uh, medicine cabinet that's a mirror that um, opens up it's kind of built into the wall but they did a crappy job at it you know what I'm saying yeah that's just a bad job they just cut a hole in the wall and stuck it in there alright so uh, the first door actually is the master nice size room so you walk in you have like a little bit of a foyer area here when you walk into your, your room that door goes to the master bathroom. Then the master bedroom is pretty big. Okay. Now I've seen bigger ones, but I've seen a lot smaller ones too. All right. So you got regular two regular closets. Okay. They're not walk-in closets. They're just regular closets. Okay. There's one. Same thing over here. All right. Master bathroom, um, tile floor, alright, double vanity sink, or double sink vanity, sorry, um, two mirrors, I like the mirrors actually, they look pretty good, light fixtures are pretty cool, that one light bulb is different color than all the others, um, if you walk around the corner, there's your toilet, and a shower, okay, nice bathroom, no scenes on the ceiling, so good so far. All right, now as far as the bedroom, 
I don't see any stains on the ceilings up here. I'm just looking for roof leaks. It's usually one of the most expensive uh, fixes is, is having to put a new roof on a house. So um, make sure that we're not having to run into that issue. Uh, looks good so far. All right. Um, second door is spare bedroom number one. Okay. Not a bad size room for a spare bedroom. I'd say that the rooms are probably um, 10 foot by 12 foot. Approximate 10 foot by 12 foot. Um, we've got a regular closet. Okay. You got a linen closet. Okay. In between, and then you got um, spare bedroom uh, uh, three and four here. All right. This one's actually a really big room. Um, still got the intercom system up here. There's a problem here in this wall. Looks like they just put the hole in it, so you need to do some drywall work. Okay, but still, no no uh, no signs of a roof leak or you know water stains on ceiling, stuff like that. Um, you know, same kind of closet. Okay. I'm going to the other spare bedroom. It's not as big as that one, but it's still a nice size spare bedroom. Same kind of closet, same intercom system. This one actually is kind of a walk-in closet. It's got like the curved, uh, curved wall right here for when it, how like the uh, the staircase comes up. Okay. All right. So um, we'll go out and check and look. Take a look at the the back deck real quick. Okay. Like these doors, French doors, I was wondering, is that going to open with that thing really close to there? But it actually, actually does open. All right. Walk out on the back deck. See the backyard. That's Country Club Drive right there. All right. Nice back deck. Over here to the right, you got a little bit of a yard. Okay, see your neighbor's yard. You got a little uh, problems with the fence over here. You got a tree that was literally grown through the fence. Um, but the deck looks good. All right. Um, you got a bench, stuff like that here. Looks like they replaced a board here in the middle with a non painted or treated board. Geniuses. All right. So you got a little bit of mold over here on the boards. Just be pressure washed off. Okay. There's the sliding glass back door that goes into the room with the fire, um, the fireplace. All right. You got your big brick chimney. All right. They put a table over here around the tree that grows up through the deck, which is cool. Well, I kind of like that. It's not a bad idea. Um, you better hope that tree doesn't ever get any bigger. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. All right. A little bit more of your backyard. All right. And you got a little bit of your side yard. AC units over there. AC unit looks pretty good. Like I said, we might want to get that checked out since that air handler looks like it was open. Uh, that front gate and stuff like that looks like it's a little bit of wood rot. I want to check that out. You actually got a tree that grows right through the fence. Really? Because the tree's got to be older than that fence. So you're telling me they built the fence around the tree like that? Uh, I don't know, but it's just strange. So you walk up here to your... Uh, Whatever you call this thing, pergola thing, gazebo, I guess. All right, craziness. Okay. But all in all, the house doesn't look bad at all. Um, you do have plenty, of, even though even though you have all this deck out here, right? Still have a nice size yard. Okay. 
All right, guys, there it is, 1114 Keating Court. Um, as is sale, needs a little bit of TLC. Um, I would say uh, home inspection will find out a lot about whether we need to do um, you know, AC repairs or roof repairs or things like that. Um, but all in all, I think the house looks pretty good. All right, give me a call if you guys want to move forward on this. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.